tutorial we will trace the one request response life cycle of a spring mvc architecture so let's see what happens when we put the url create student.stm and enter it we basically get this form so let's see what happens when we give this url so let's get back to our eclipse so what happens is that whenever you have a request coming from the front end side it is basically trapped by dispatcher servlet which is the front controller and this dispatcher servlet now will consult the handler mapping which in this case is simple URL mapping and if you remember we have got create student dot stm as the URL pattern so this will basically now refers to student create controller so what it means is that that request has to be handled by a bean named student create controller the student create controller bean is here so now in this bean you see there are many things here but the important thing right now is that it has got a form view which is called create student and there are a command name command class and all those things but at this moment the important thing for us is form view and the value is create student and what it means is that now it has to give a form back to the client browser which can be displayed to take the user input again this is a logical view ID so to resolve that it will go to the view resolver and in the view resolver it will basically now look for a JSP which is have a path like slash web INF slash JSP slash create student dot JSP which is residing here so it will take this JSP go and display to the front end also before it goes one more thing to note here is that in the student create control there is a form backing object and in that you can set the initial values so we have set set name as default name so you can see that when the form is displayed it has this default name here so now what we do we remove this and give some other name let's say OA Java and we submit it the moment we submit it this again goes as a URL of create student and then again it goes back to student create student controller but and now it comes to this method on submit and in this on submit if you see it has got an argument called command and this command is basically a student object so what spring has done if you go back to our create student.csp the form command name student form input path name so what it done basically this is the command name and this command name basically refers to a command class called student so what it has done is basically it has created a student object and it has taken the property name which is coming from the form input path and it has set it to the name property of the student once it has done that this command object is basically created by the framework itself and is returned back in your code where you receive your student object fully populated then what you do you basically call the student DAO and call the save student the student DAO in the spring style has been wired again in the spring.xml so you can see here it has been wired here once it is done now we return a new model in view because now we have to show the list of the student but here they see that we have said redirect what it means is that this comes again as a new request from the browser and it now comes with a pattern student list.stm again when it looks into student list.stm it will consult our handler mapping so in the handler mapping the student list.stm is basically handled by student list controller in the student list controller again here is the student list controller which basically refers to a class of student list controller dot java it reaches to this handle request internal method it returns a model and view object where there is a student list which is the logical view id the students is the name of the parameter and the student list is the actual object now this is the logical view id this is resolved to the physical view again by consulting the view resolver 
so again if you go by this path logic it will reach to a student list.jsp page here in that it can look for the students object which you remember we have put into the new model and view object and then you can iterate through it and display the list of the student this is how our request response cycle flows in the spring mvc architecture this can again be looked from <coughs> this diagram